Hey, aloha guys, Eric West here, hawaiirealestate.org, coming to you live from Lahaina Luna neighborhood, Maui, Hawaii. Citizens, impromptu reporter, wasn't planning on doing this, uh, but this is what we're doing, and I'm thankful to have a Starlink from David Crawford, and we're here reporting on what I believe is potentially a smoking gun of sorts. We just don't know what it is, but I'm gonna show you the scenario of this car and what's surrounding it, and how temperatures could reach this level creating this amount of melting of aluminum. I'm here with Donovan. He is a, I believe, a, a hero of sorts. Aloha, Donovan. Because he was, he's the one that brought it to my attention that we have these, these very strange occurrences. We just shot down on the highway. I don't know if it was actually live, but um, we have it all recorded, so we're gonna post it. We're, we're at another one of these locations. So this is well above the burn zone, essentially, in a neighborhood known as Lahaina Luna. I'm gonna show you around real quick. So you can see the scenario and then judge for yourself. And again, if you enjoy content like this, I encourage you to please like the channel, subscribe, and share the video so you can get the truth of what's going on here at Maui. So where I'm at right now, just to orientate you, you can see the lights for the football stadium right there at Lahaina Luna. So we're right below Lahaina Luna High School in the neighborhood that did not, I repeat, did not burn. You can see all these houses are standing around here, unburned. There's no burn here, okay? So to me, this is like something out of a, out of a space movie because you have this small field right over with some grass yeah, that, that burned, nuts? right? You can yeah. see where the grass burned. But then you have these two vehicles sitting so in here like that have melted oh, yeah, it's aluminum. aluminum. So Donovan, if you want to just take us through this car real quick and show us, I know you know a few things about cars. You can point out some things that, that require a very high temperature. By the way, we just talked to the neighbor who was talking to an investigator in, in uh, Lahaina Town yesterday, and he said the investigator told him the temperatures reached in excess of 3,000 degrees. So tell us what you got, Donovan. Well, we have about 300 degrees for aluminum, and this aluminum- 300? 1,300. 1,300, okay, thank you. 1,300, well, 12, 1,220, but if you round it up, because it was not only melted, it was liquefied to the point where it it, it became a, a, river, a river of aluminum going down the dirt hill. So this is the aluminum rim, obviously. There's the tire, what's left of it, the steel threads or steel, and, steel belts. And, and maybe combination gas tank if the gas tank's aluminum. Okay, okay. Um, so you have liquefied aluminum running down the side of a grass fire. The caliper, caliper melted, unless they stole it. But it, it looks like the bolts are still there. So that, and then you get the belt, the steel belts of the tire which is just a bunch of a wire mesh laying there. And you have the windows that were melted, the back window. If you look at the big old, like, almost like. The glass is just melted. Yeah, it was dripping. This is uh, almost what you would see if you put a car in an incinerator. But this is not surrounded by a bunch of structure fires or anything. Yeah, there's, no, would... there's no fuel. So besides the gas that was in the tank, what's your theory on what could create temperatures of this level in the middle of a, a field? Anomaly, I think is the word. So this is the second anomaly. That yeah, I'm it's saying. just it, that's why I stopped. I looked at it, I'm like, okay, house, 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 nothing's burned, and then you have melted steel and glass, and then the only thing that is left is the the steel the thick steel frame and then the steel sheet metal so i don't know if you guys have figured this out yet but the media has not been given access to lahaina town everything is locked up matter of fact this gentleman next door he was on front street yesterday and he was supposed to get access and then the mayor shut it down because people were taking pictures so they don't want pictures taken of anything in lahaina town because they don't want you to see this this would be my guess because the more that you take a look at this, and especially in this scenario, if there was a car like this in the middle of Lahaina, you might think to yourself, well, okay, it was in the middle of this major burn. There's an animal that died here or something. I'm smelling a, that, that, that yeah, looks must like, be a cat that was under there. That smells like a dead something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so Maybe. sad. That is so sad. That's someone's dog. Yeah, it's dog oh. So now we have another vehicle right next to it. Talk to me about this one, Don. Yeah, what are you seeing? It's symmetrical with the other one. Yes. Very, pretty much identical. I mean, the heat is just tremendous, tremendous heat. Melting glass, 
melting metal, incinerating the tires to the point of, you know, the only thing you see is the, the steel belts which actually fall apart like spaghetti noodles when you, when you touch it. So the media is not allowed in here. No one's allowed in Lahaina town. So the only way this message is going to get out right now is if you, until your fingers bleed for America, start sharing this video. Look what it did to the steering wheel. I mean, still, it's just, I mean, all it is is the steering column. We the people is all we got left here. And the more we get the word out and the more people start seeing this crazy anomaly, and it, we're seeing it in a lot of different places. Donovan here has been on a scooter. He was at the uh, scene of the crime the day of the fire. He was helping people, rerouting them away from Lahaina as the, the, the cops had not blocked the southbound traffic until you got almost to Front Street. Grass. And notice <laughs> the green grass here. Now, it's only been two weeks. I don't know if that's two is weeks, that two weeks gr of growth. Is that two weeks of growth? We have I'd green so. grass. You think is that two weeks of growth? Okay, maybe it is. But there's a lot of green grass here. I don't know, yeah, someone, a... someone tell me how fast does grass grow? Is that two weeks of growth? Someone dumped some trash in there, right? I wonder who did yeah. that. It's kind of weird. Some nice people. Some nice people? Yeah. Lazy. But if you don't share this story, I don't know who will, man. Someone's got to start putting this out to the people that can help. I've had people tell me, hey, you guys got to go do something. Really? We just got like a little 5G back and it doesn't even work. We, every phone call we make drops, right? Do you, do you hear what's going on here? Can you, are you hearing me loud and clear? They are creating a situation where it's impossible for us to communicate. Right now, I'm on a Starlink. That's in the back of my truck over there. Thank you, David Crawford. So that's the reason I'm able to transmit this message, assuming you're getting it. If you're not, I have it recorded, and I'll Come around. I will post it after we go live. See if you can get down and let's see inside the the motor. Does this the hood come up? Oh, no. the motor's melted. The motor's gone. It looks like the block is melted. And what's the block made out of? Um, probably aluminum. Probably aluminum. If it melted, yeah. An iron block usually would hold would hold out a little bit longer. I mean, is it possible that they're making these cars with uh, different types of materials that just have a lower melting point? But even if they did, oh, look at, it wouldn't make any sense because we're in a field with uh, just a little block, bit of grass. The block is still there. It's turned sideways. The block is still but there? But the, uh, the aluminum valve cover is still, is still melted to death. So can a grass fire but how does it burn underneath the hood? That's the thing. Underneath the hood is protecting it from heat, right? Or uh, oxygen. Oxygen. You can't oxygen. get in there. Right. So you have no combustion. And again, if you're just tuning into this live, the edge of the fire went to that little grass. This is all. This was all just grass. No trees. You can see a couple of trees right there. It just went to the edge of the sidewalk. I mean, not even to the sidewalk. It just went inside of this fence. And then it stopped right before it got to this guy's thing. This guy's house. And just to orientate you, here you can see the roadblock of the National Guard right there. That is where the fire burn area starts at the top, uh, not the top, but of Lahaina Luna. Sorry guys, I'm all over the map here. That, if you can see that blockade, that is, that's actually where the burn zone is. So the fire was down there, okay? The fire was down there. This is above the bypass. We're above the bypass. The fire was below the bypass. There was no fire here, except for this little tiny field. Supposedly it only started a quarter mile away. So we're gonna go there next? We can and go take we're a look. Gonna, next we're gonna go to where we think the fire may have started. This is interesting too. Is this two weeks worth of, uh, worth of grass growth? Maybe it is. Uh, no, that, it looks like the fire missed right there. Interesting. But you notice that house is untouched there. Yeah, let's just scan the houses next door so you can see for yourself that all these homes are perfectly fine. So there's no fuel to create a fire that's powerful enough. It's like if you burned your campfire next to your car and then this happened to your car next. Well everybody's thrown beer bottles or bottles in their fire, in their campfire. Right. And I mean look at the windshield. It just, it's almost gone in the back windows. Uh huh. So does everyone just need to go take a little Wikipedia tour on, on the melting points of yeah. things and just do some research? Yeah, it's amazing. Is what? that a good idea? So, because I didn't know much about melting points before all this started and I'm 
I'm a skeptic when it comes to all things outlandish, but to me, this is what now seems outlandish to me. And again, if you're just joining right now, please share the video because we're trying to get the word out. What's going on in Maui? Give to the Lahaina Fire Fund if you can. We've raised over a half a million. Every penny will go back into the hands of survivors. We're going to document it all. Don't worry. And if you want to give directly to survivors, I'm going to try to get Donovan here to give me his Venmo if he wants to so that he can go give the money you give to him to the people that he knows that were affected. He doesn't need any money. I don't need any money. But we are trying to raise money. And the idea that I came up with, tell me what you guys think. Again, this is sort of like a sort of like a public forum, if you will, for ideas. What if we create a fund called Buy Back Lahaina? And we make yeah. t-shirts, beautiful t-shirts. I've already contacted one of my favorite artists. Everything oh, burned, all of his that's originals. What, that's what I do, actually. He has two galleries on Front Street, all of his original work. Uh, 20 years with a sketch books gone. He can't even come on camera. He's so destroyed. Yeah, but I'm trying to 